Welcome back to Market Makers. In the Game of Thrones, you win or you die. Sounds kind of like my conversations with Stephanie. <laughs> uh, we're going to find out who dies in the hit series' third season, which kicks off this weekend. In the meantime, the HBO show is a huge winner with fans everywhere. Scarlett Fu is here to explain in the, today's Off the Charts. Game of Thrones is a winner across the globe because it was the most pirated television show in 2012. According to the biggest file sharing protocol, one episode of the hit fantasy series was illegally downloaded 4.3 million times. That is roughly equal to Nielsen's count of the estimated viewers in the U.S. Dexter, which airs on Showtime, also another pay TV network, network was the second most ripped off program. After that, you've got standard network fare like The Big Bang Theory and How I Met Your Mother from CBS. So who exactly is behind all of those illegal downloads of Game of Thrones? Australia on its own, responsible for more than 10 percent. The show is delayed there by six months for fans and the show's trademark sex and violence also watered down sometimes. Canada and the UK are also guilty, making up almost 8% there. HBO, very aware of the problem. It says new episodes of season three will be made available to 176 territories within a week of the U.S. premiere. But the fact that Americans are number two and pirating the show as well shows the fallout from HBO's business model. You and I can't watch HBO programming online through the HBO Go app unless we already pay for a cable TV subscription that includes the network. For now, it does seem that HBO would rather lose out on new viewers who are outside the pay TV wall than should jeopardize its relationship with cable carriers. That is today's Off the Charts. Eric?